Hello everyone, my name is Ines Arus. I am a PhD student at the University of Fribourg in Switzerland. Today I am presenting our work entitled Peer Grading the Peer Reviews, a dual role approach for lightening the scholarly paper review process. This work is in collaboration with Jay Young from TU Delft, Murat Khayati and Philippe Kudermourou from the University of Fribourg. Conferences provide some guidelines for reviewers to follow them during the reviewing process. They often require that these reviews meet specific conformity standards, such that they are well-structured, provide sufficient and consistent justification, and that all comments are formulated objectively. For example, the International Conference on Learning Representation, ICLR, provide the following example for an acceptance recommendation, where the review contains a brief summary and justifies the attributed score with a list of pros and cons. However, not all submitted reviews meet these standards. This problem becomes even more challenging due to the exponential increase of the number of submissions for some conferences. To guarantee a minimum number of reviews per submission, the number is around three times of sub the number of submissions. For example, for ICLR 2020, the number of reviews is more than 7k. Consequently, each area chair has to handle a high number of reviews. For example, in ICLR 2020, the area chair had to handle around 60 reviews that do not always meet the conformity standards. In the context of scientific peer review, a lot of methods have been developed for review assignment, sentiment analysis of reviews, and the prediction of rebuttal outcome. However, little work can be found on developing automatic tools for review conformity assessment. Currently, the chairs have to manually detect low conformity reviews. A lot of discussions have been raised around developing a method for low conformity reviews detection as it can save time in the review process. Methods for review assessment have been developed mainly in the e-commerce sphere, where they are trained on massive corpora to capture text semantics, which is useful for review classification. These methods have limited performance on scholarly reviews for two main reasons. First, submission and review information of most conferences are not openly accessible for privacy and confidentiality concerns, which limits the size of training data. Second, the task of conformity assessment of reviews is complex, as it requires evaluating the argumentation, the consistency, and objectivity of reviews, which are hard to evaluate using a fully automatic method. We propose to cope with these challenges using by integrating peer grading. The idea here is to introduce a step after reviewers submit their reviews for submission. The step consists of grading each other reviews anonymously, with respect to important conformity criteria. This additional step is implicit in the current peer review system. Each reviewer reads the reviews from other reviewers and decides whether to keep her original recommendation or not. We conduct a small-scale experiment with expert reviewers and a larger-scale crowdsourcing study, in which we collect worker grading to approximate the grading from expert reviewers. The advantage of using crowdsourcing is that workers can assess the different dimensions of a review, such as the consistency, the argumentation, etc., and they can rate them. However, some might tend to provide high grades, while others might tend to provide low grades, and their grading depends on their overall performance. Therefore, we propose a new door mechanism called peer grading peer reviews to automate the conformity checking. We introduce a Bayesian framework that integrates machine learning model with peer grading to assess scholarly reviews conformity. We show that our method outperforms state-of-the-art by up to 11% accuracy and we show that it improves over the years. Let's go now into the details of our framework. We start by collecting reviews from which we extract 
Numerical features, such as the recommendation, the confidence score, the length, etc., we also represent textual reviews with pre-trained language model. We then train a model named mix model, which is a multi-input model that takes the extracted features as input. Then we select a subset of the most informative reviews for grading. These reviews are selected such as they are the ones where the model prediction is most uncertain. These reviews are selected for grading. To formulate our problem, given a set of reviews I, grade a review matrix A with each element AIG is a grade given by a grader G to I, our goal is to infer the conformity score ZI for all reviews I belonging to the set I. We represent the conformity score ZI, the grader's reliability and bias within a Bayesian model. Learning the parameters of our framework resorts to maximizing the following likelihood function, where A is the grader review matrix, Z is the latent conformity, and R and B are respectively the reliability and bias for all graders. We can optimize such a function using the variational expectation maximization algorithm. In this algorithm, we iterate between two steps. Any step where we incrementally compute graders' reliability and bias, and then incrementally compute the review's conformity, and the num step, where we train the mixed model using the updated conformity scores of the uncertain reviews. We iterate between these two steps until conversions. At the end, we obtain all reviews with a conformity score. We now go into the details of the E step. We model the conformity scores at I with a Gaussian distribution and we incrementally updated in the E step of our algorithm such that the updated mean depends on the unbiased answers weighted by the worker's reliability and the variance depends on the mean of the worker's reliability. We model the greater reliability with a gamma distribution and we updated in the E step such as the shape AG depends on the number of answers and the rate B G depends on the answer's correctness. We model the greater bias with the Gaussian distribution, and we incrementally compute it such that the mean depends on the wrong answers weighted by the worker's reliability, and the variance depends on the number of answers weighted by worker's reliability. We show in our paper the proof for all these results. In our experiments, we conduct a small-scale experiment and a large-scale experiment. For the small-scale experiment, we collect data from two venues where we had access to reviewers' information. The first one is semantics from the 2019th edition, where we contacted 21 reviewers who provided each one review. The second venue is the workshop on decentralizing the semantic web which is publicly available on OpenReview, where we contacted 12 reviewers who collectively provided us with 16 reviews. We find through this experiment that grading weighted average is a better approximation to meta decision than existing aggregation methods just, such as the score average and the weighted average by the confidence score. We compare experts grading with workers grading and we find that there is a large overlap of 67% of the reviews workers grading where it's similar to experts grading. We conduct a larger scale experiment with workers from a crowdsourcing platform. We use the publicly available dataset of ACLR through OPINC review. We collect reviews from 2017, 2018 and 2019. We consider a review to be conform if the reviewer's decision and the meta-reviewer decision are aligned. We evaluate our framework on these data sets by training on one year and evaluating on the following year. We focus on in our experiments on submissions with misalignment as they require more effort. 
we report in our paper the accuracy, the precision and recall in F1 of all baselines in our method, here in this presentation we will focus on the accuracy in F1. In our experiment we had 64 crowd workers with a master qualification that who rated the actively selected refuse. We compare our framework with several baselines. We compare with Milnet, which is a multiple interest learning model, and we compare as well with DASMR, which is a um, logistic regression model that takes into account hand engineered features and predicts the outcome of a rebuttal. We compare as well with the pre trained language models such as Cybert and Albert. Cybert is pre trained on scientific text, while Albert is used for various NLP tasks. We also compare with methods that are used for review assessment in the e-commerce field, such as PCNN, which is a convolutional neural model with context encoding, and the RHP, which is an attention-based model with a BILSTM for helpfulness prediction. We show here in this figure a comparison between our framework, PGPR, shown in red, the first figure reports the numbers in terms of accuracy and the second one in terms of F1 score. Our framework improves the second best method by 10.85% in terms of accuracy and 7.76% in terms of F1 score on average on both data sets. We notice in our experiment that the second best method is actually DESMR which relies on hand-engineered features, and we found that it is better in predicting graviose conformity than embedding-based methods. This is probably due to the complexity of the scholarly review semantics that is not well captured by existing embedding-based methods. We also evaluate the grading effect over time by comparing the ACLR 2018 with ACLR 2019. We find that the performance of our framework increases with the increase of the actively selected reviews on, on the ACLR 2018 dataset, while it gradually stabilizes on the ACLR 2019. Also note that the actively selected reviews for 2019 are less than those that are selected for 2018, which confirms that our framework, in subsequent editions of the same conference, requires less grading as it gradually learns the conformity standards of the conference. Finally, to conclude, we introduced a human AI collaborative approach that can be easily integrated in the current peer review process to check the conformity of scholarly reviews. We derive efficient updating rules that allow both model parameters and greater reliability to be updated incrementally. As future work, we plan to study the behavior of graders. For example, we plan to study on how to take into account the, manipul the manipulative behavior of some graders. Our code is available online through this GitHub link. Thank you for your attention.